Welcome to another tutorial on Kismet um, using the UDK Game Design Cookbook. We're in Chapter Three. Um, this is a reference by Michael or Thomas De Mooney. Um, today we're going to actually create an enemy, simple enemy bot that fires at you uh, with a little bit of delay using the uh, Major um, Actor um, X Factory and uh, some of the uh, classes in there for a shock rifle weapon and having it uh, uh, attached to an event and it should be pretty straightforward um, first of all you can just start a new uh, pick any template I'm going to pick the knight uh, template in this case um, and uh, the setup for this type of uh, game uh, you need to, uh, to set it to the world properties um, in there there's game types and a default none and you should change it to uh, UT game to get the uh, the settings right um, so once we start that um, typically we o open up Kismet uh, so you hit the big key big K uh, hit P for players and all players and um, this split this player uh, every every player can give given an index to ID them and the default is zero then we're going to add a new event. Um, oops, not action. New event. Uh, player spawn. Just delete that by accident. And uh, we're going to set the max count trigger to zero. That's most cases, so it can loop. Um, and we're going to target the. Uh, uh, um, and we're going to um, give. Um, a new pawn, new action pawn um, inventory. Um, in there, there's a uh, give in inventory, and we're going to set that as the player. Um, and uh, um, so we're going to connect the player spawned events out to the end of the give inventory. And and what we're going to do now is uh, set up. The uh, the inventory so that um, in the inventory list so that we have um, uh, a rocket launcher content as the inventory um, so that we can um, uh, have it and we clear existing so we can have it for our player and uh, and this action comes from a category which is specific to players and bots. And it will put in the hands of the player whatever we, we specify. So we're specifying uh, this rocket launcher. Now we're going to add to uh, a new event called uh, um, under the event category called the um, event action. Sorry, the action. I always get confused. This action event attached to event, and that's what lets you associate a player or bot with another event. So uh, we're going to right click, go into new event, pawn, death. So what happens, um, we're going to make sure the player um, is attached to this event. And the event is the death out. Later on we'll connect the out to a, to a, um, a destroy. So we connected the nodes as p follows. Um, and uh, it's a, these steps have been out of a bit of preparation before we're adding the bot. So now the big thing, uh, one I like, is the uh, the bot itself. And you do that through the new action actor factory. Now, the actor factory spawns all kinds of actors, vehicles, you name it. But we're going to stick to the bot today. I'm just going to use my middle mouse button to zoom out and use my right mouse button to pan over a bit. And uh, a path node is where the bot starts in the scene. So we're going to go back in the scene here um, and just add one path node by right clicking add actor and then add path node. So we get to add path node in the make sure it's above in the scene. Whoops, I have the wrong one. Um, let's try that again. Right click, add actor, path node. There we go. And there's my path node in the scene. Now that path node um, has to be built with this uh, um, build pass. 
and uh, it might, uh, I have to redo my lighting in here, but that's fine. Um, in the scene, when when you position the actor um, and you have it selected, what you can do with that selected, go right click, and then you'll see new object variable using Path Note 2, and that can be uh, connected to the spawn point right here. So uh, now there's a lot of settings in the actor factor. This can be confusing if you go into the uh, rollout here. Um, um, you have to set the factory here with the down blue arrow, not to actor factory AI, which people get confused. It's a UT actor factory AI. And then once you're doing that, you can set up the uh, what's called the class controller class, and we have to expand the factory channel, and you can go down to here and set it to UT bot and the pawn class to UT pawn. And you can put a name in here, uh, uh, killer as the killer. Uh, um, 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 item and you want to give it a default uh, item too you can give it a default uh, um, uh, shock rifle or link gun or whatever you want for a UT weapon so so that's it for the uh, shock rifle and uh, our bot needs to be referenced in kismet once you spawn so um, so what what you can do is just right click here and just go uh, uh, new object event whoops uh, right click new variable object and just put a uh, a dummy uh, variable this displays a three question mark node it doesn't mean it's an error but it's not a sp specific scene actor which is okay since we're specifying what this object variable is from the actor factory it's just uh, think of it as a dummy and uh, that's assigned to the spawned event okay um, now hook the out of the uh, uh, the uh, attached to, to the spawn actor, and that'll make make it active. And uh, and another thing too, you can actor factory. A lot of these events have a lot of things you don't need. If you go right click, expose or sorry, uh, um, hide unused connectors, it'll take all the other extra stuff off. It just kind of cleans up your uh, cleans up your uh, kismet. Um, now you want to set up a delay too on the uh, uh, the in of the uh, the actor factory. Um, um, so you right click this, uh, set actor delay to one. We'll give you uh, the bots can just stand on the two for a bit, and you can see what happens when I hit pi or or um, you'll see the actor my, my screen up here appear with the gun. And I could shoot it if I want, just to test it out. Um, so that's the start. So now we need the uh, the actor to do something. So there's two other events called stop and start firing at. So if you go into a new action, you can apply an artificial intelligence to start and and AI stop into the scene. And you want to add a delay. So you get the D key to, to put a delay uh, in there. So the sequence for that, it's a bit tricky, but you want to go from uh, um, the uh, actor factory finish. So I'm just going to expose the variable finished, uh, output finished rather, to the start firing in. And the target's going to be, of course, the players, or sorry, the, the, uh, uh, the uh, question mark, the dummy object. And then you start firing out to the in, the in of this, and in the stop, you can, we're going to put a delay for one second. We we'll bring the finish of the out back of the delay rather back out to the start firing at. So it's kind of confusing. I'll bring this up here just to show you um, the, the the loop here, and you're firing at, of course, our target, which is the players. Now what we're going to do is make a copy, Control C, Control and Control V, of the player, uh, just to uh, so we don't have a lot of wires flying over the place. Again, the final thing is to add the destroy um, action, and again, uh, you connect that from the out to the death, and away you go, and uh, hit the uh, uh, F8, and you've got now this. And that's, that's it. Thank you.